Alright, hello world, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be keep building our correction web app. So, uh, last time we left off by successfully adding a question. So now, today we'll be begin to process um, process how are we going to actually be able to view the question. So, this is a standard that we created, if you recall. Um, what we could do here is we will just create hyperlinks. So, let's see how that's going to work. So let's uh, let's go to course. Okay, so in here we're gonna have a link. So we're gonna say slash course slash one or slash course dot id slash standard slash view question and then we'll say and we'll put standard we'll say slash s slash s. and then here we'll say s dot id something like that And then we're gonna close it like this. Oh, I never closed that. Okay. Oh, no wonder. Here. Okay. All right. Let's make sure I got that set up. Okay. Perfect. So now we can go to uh, this. So basically, whenever they click on the link, uh, we can view the standard. We'll view the question, actually. So in here, we're just going to go to URL, or go to views, and then we'll say view question by standard, and take in standard ID. OK, so in here, basically, what we we'll do is we just say return render request and then we'll say view questions.html and then we'll say questions will be mc questions dot objects dot filter let me look how mc questions will be nice Oh, I work on it like that. Mm, not really what I, I would really want to do like the standard how you did did it there. Okay, so I guess I had to do this. Uh, I, I want to do so let's do many to many uh, MC option so I want to do that Basically, what that will allow me to do is that will give me the access to choices as well. Um, that, that would be better for us to do here. So what we need to do is we have to rewrite this a little bit. Okay, so we'll name it option. Name it option. Is a question dot options dot add. Option. So for every question, we do want to add the option. 
icon to our choices. Okay. Like that. So Okay, so let's run server again. Oh, okay, so. Okay, well, surprisingly, kind of fixed itself. Uh, well, I wonder what's going to happen now. All right, let's take a look. Oh, sorry, I don't know where I'm going. Okay, here. All right, so in here, we're just going to say standard. Oh, we need to search this out. How to filter a many to many Django. Okay, so it looks like we can just do something like that. Uh, let's look at our model. Standards in standard uh, objects dot get ID standard ID. All right, and here we're gonna say questions questions like so all right okay so let's see if this works so we're just gonna go URLs and so we have course ID view questions slash s slash int standard id ah i forgot about course so let me fix that really quick too so taking a course id as well so course equals to Course dot objects dot get ID is course ID. Okay, there we go. All right. So if everything goes well, we should see an error. Standard ID. That's not the error we should be seeing because uh, because right, I didn't change this yet. So few questions by standard. Good. Good, that's not, that does not exist. All right, we do have one. We do have one that we can use, perfect. So now, looks like we can get you. Okay. Let's see if we can come up with a way to render it. Render, probably want to do a div. We maybe want to do a ordered list, and then and then do something like this. For queuing questions and for Q dot. Cute out question. Right. 
And I think I need to specify this. Like this. There we go. Alright. Okay. Okay, we do have the questions here. Now let's give the uh, give it some answer choices. All right, let's see if we can. Yeah, so this would be another OL for choices in Q dot choices and four. And here we say C dot text say. All right, let's take a look. Many related managers not iterable. I think I have a guess what that means, but let's see if there's a way for us to. Okay, uh, so there's not really a reason for us to do this then. Because if it's not really iterable, then it's not really going to help us that much. Uh, let's see if we can, if there's any go around. Yeah, okay. Dashboard MC option dot none. Okay. Um, right, yeah, so I seem to create a new question regardless. Slash, course, slash, new question, add a question, uh, add a question, okay. So I'm going to call it, where is the first? English settlement, and we're just gonna say Jamestown, New York, California, and Miami. Okay, okay, so it's actually it doesn't, uh, okay. All right, question created successfully. All right. So let's go here. Okay. So still doesn't have the choices. That's weird. Oh, because I never saved it. Do I never save it? Well, I don't think I need to really save it because I didn't save here and uh, didn't didn't really cause too much of a issue. Mm, okay, so let's see. We got the options here. Question dot choices to add. Right. Um, hmm. 
Interesting. Okay. I guess I'm just going to test this really quick then. Or do I do I need to save it? Or? I mean, it will make sense. Hello. Hi. Okay, so still didn't add. Uh, that is very weird. Right, because it does have choices now, and there's many too many to that. But I don't need this anymore, do I? I don't know if that's a problem. All right, new question in E W. Okay, let's keep checking this. All right, we're being creating questions successfully. Yeah, still none. Unless this thing just lying, but. I don't think so. So I guess I would just say for question and questions for choices choice and question dot choices friend choice. I right, see if that's gonna you know give us anything. Dot all. Okay, so it did save. It did save. So that's just what I kind of said there. Uh, all right. So this is hard uh, to make it work. Dot all. Well, I sort of tried that already. It doesn't really quite work. Never mind, it works. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Right, okay, okay, okay. There we go. For C in that. And for LI C dot C dot is correct. C dot text. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay. So say if C dot text does not equals to that, then we'll do this. So yeah, basically if there's a should get rid of 
extra ease. Amazing. Perfect. The exact way I want. All right, amazing. Let's try to print this, see how it works. Okay. All right. So, there's a few questions. All right. So, it's a view question. Questions from. Let's say course. Dot name, with standards. Standard. Short name. Okay, let's send them to here as well. Course, this course. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, course is that. Uh, standard. Standard Sam. Okay. Okay. All right. Quite a bit of work. Uh, of course, I've got double curlies. Double curlies. That. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So. Um. I guess I also want to toggle a view answer. So what I will do is this. If C dot is correct equals equals true, then we'll do something like this. So we'll give it a class, call it correct. And we'll do this. See that. And that's just not going to get anything. Okay. So in here, I will add a quick script. I'll see if this works. Let's say document dot. And this time, I guess I will use query selector. So it's a dot correct dot style. Okay. I'm not sure if that's going to work. Oh, okay. That worked. I'm not sure why only one is marked. Because I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay, so I guess this only made that, made the first one green rather than every one. Okay. I wonder if I can do this. Let's see if I can do some more weird stuff like this. Okay, yeah, that just completely breaks everything. That's what I thought. All right. So, how to change color of the 
class for JavaScript. Let's see if we can figure it out. All right, let's see. All right, looks like I gotta do this then. Say dot correct. Okay, there we go. All right, so we'll make a toggle. Uh, we have some time. Let's try to make a toggle. Okay, let's go here. So we can find toggle. Uh, okay, maybe in select. No, check and radio. Yeah, check and radio. Yeah, here. Switches. That's okay. What they call them? All right. So. Here we'll say toggle answer. Toggle, toggle. All right, document, docket element by ID, toggle. Okay. Okay, so here's what we'll say. Let's say if elements bracket i dot style dot color equals equals screen already, then we just want to, you know, turn it to black. Else otherwise Okay. Okay, perfect. All right, looks like we do have everything all set up then. So this is great. We got all the setup. All right, toggle, toggle, toggle. All right, amazing. So uh, in the next video, maybe, I don't know, does, uh, we'll probably make some sort of statistical stuff, maybe add some graphs so we can look at uh, where Look at everything uh, collectively. But um, yeah, this is, will be it for this video then. Thank you for watching this video. Any questions or comments, feel free to comment down below. As always, stay safe and for the rest of your day. That's me, out.